appear, especially for the col columns with numerical figures, your results appear in ascending order by default. So if you would want the higher numbers to come first, you always have to use DESD. -E. So I'm just going to select this. And then you can either press F5 on your keyboard or you press execute. So when I did that, this was the result. We can see here that which apps have the highest rating, five being the highest rating we have, Summer Sonic app, Prosperity app, um, and then the rest of them. Uh, I also want to share that I have been learning um, or improving my SQL on Protegri. I hope I pronounced that right. And then I, I came in contact with the limits function but then I noticed that I couldn't use the limit function here because I just wanted to limit my results to just 10 rows but let, let's move on so the next query says what are the numbers of installs and reviews for the above apps return the apps with the highest reviews to the top same thing again select I brought in apps the app column because obviously it's asking about the apps uh, I brought in the review column and I brought in the installs column because we have uh, what had number of installs. So we want to know from this same table. And then I ordered by reviews because reviews uh, and uh, reviews obviously have to do with numbers. So I'm ordering by reviews. And so let's execute and see what we get. Awesome. What are the number of installs and reviews for the above apps? These are the numbers of in installs and reviews for all of the ab above apps. And then we turn the apps with the highest reviews to the top. And that is why I ordered by reviews because we want the apps with the highest reviews to the top. And so these are the apps with the highest reviews. You have Facebook, WhatsApp, many, mass, Messenger, Instagram, Clash of Clans, ETC. Okay, so let's move to the third, third question. It says, which app has the highest number of reviews? Also mention the number of reviews and category of the app. Okay, so again, you start with the select function. You bring in app because it's asking us about the app. You bring in the um, category because it's asking about the category column and then you bring in the review column because it's asking about the review columns from this table you order by reviews in the same descending order you click on f5 on your tab or you click on execute and then there you have it which app has the highest number of reviews the app that has the highest number of reviews it's facebook uh, and that's under the social uh, media category. And um, we have the figures for the reviews. So moving on to number four, I think I have to speed this up because I've already said so much. So the fourth one is, what is the total amount of revenue generated by the Google Play Store by hosting apps? Basically, what is the total uh, amount of revenue generated by the Play Store by hosting, by having all of the four apps from Facebook to WhatsApp, to Clash of Clans, to Subway Surfers, to all of these apps, what is the total revenue? Whenever a user buys apps from Google Play Store, the amount is considered in the revenue. Okay, so what I did was select some because we're trying to uh, sum up one column and that's the price column. So select some from this table and let us run this query and see what happens. And so this is the total revenue generated by Google Play Store by hosting all of those apps. So let's move on to number five. Which category of Google Play Store apps has the highest number of installs? Also, find out the total number of installs for that particular category. Okay, so select which category of Google Play Store apps. So obviously, they're asking us about apps. They're asking us about the number of installs. So those two columns are necessary after the select 
Um, then from, from the table, then you order by installs in descending order. And then let us run this query as well. So we have, okay, which category of Google Play Store apps has the highest number of installs? Um, okay, which category of Google Play Store apps has the highest number of installs? So I think I missed something here. So I'm supposed to bring in um category. Yes, I missed something here. Uh, highest number. Okay, so I'm going to run this again. Let's see what happens. <clears throat> so if we're ordering by the number highest number of installs, the category with the highest with the highest number of installs is the key, is the game category. So I, I'm sorry, I think I missed putting this in, but that has been corrected. So there you have it. And then we ordered by installs in descending order to get the highest number. So moving on to six now, which Genry has the most number of published apps? They're asking us about Genry, they're asking us about apps. That's why we select these two and we bring in these two columns. From this same table, we order by January in descending order. And then let's run that and see what happens. Okay, so which January has the most number of published apps? That's the word January. So there you have it. So let's move to number seven. It says, provide the list of all games ordered in such a way that the game that has the highest number of installs is displayed on the top. So avoid the click results, use distinct so that that is why i use select the distinct um obviously it's asking us about app the app so we've written the app column the category column and the install column and then we execute we yeah, sorry i have to explain now the difference here is we're saying there's a condition where category is equals to game so it's only going to display the uh this is the condition only when the category is equals to game so the list of games ordered in such a way that the game with the highest number of installs is displayed on the top. So the game with the highest number of installs is Subway Surfers. I actually love Subway Surfers, and I will. Okay, so moving on to um, number eight, provide the list of apps that can work on Android version 4.03 and up. You know, when I was working on this initially, I missed it. You know, using the like um using the like function can be tricky. Yeah, but I'm I'm glad that I got this. So you go for select, you have the app, you have the Android version because it's asking about the Android version column from this table where so this is the condition. And with this where condition, you pair you pair it with the like. So where Android version is like well there's really no ease in this sentence but you're saying where android version is 4.03 and up and don't forget to put the um the code if not your, your query will be successful so let's run that and then we click on execute and there you have it if you scroll down you see that it satisfies the where condition it's only displaying displaying where the Android version is 4.03 and up. So we move to number nine. How many apps from the given data set are free? Also provide the number of paid apps. So I divided this into 9A and 9B. So for 9A, how many apps from the given data set are free? The condition here is free where the type of the app is free. So when you run this, you click execute. Oh, 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 okay. I didn't select this properly for a moment there. Okay, there you have it too. So there you have all of the apps that are free. So let us also provide number of paid apps. So it's asking how many apps from given data set are free. So we have nine. Uh, 9,197, so it's basically 9,197 apps are free so let us find out how many of the apps are paid for so we execute this so 731 of these apps are paid for 
that's awesome to know. Okay, so moving on to 10, we're almost done. This is quite long. This video is actually longer than I thought it would be. So it says, which is the best dating app? Ooh, best dating app is the one having the highest number of reviews. So obviously this means we're ordering by reviews, right? In descending order. So you select app, category reviews um, from the table, where category equals dating because we want to find out the best dating app, which is the best dating app. Uh, so let's run this. And there you have it. So the best dating app is <laughs> Zusk dating app meet singles. Ooh, okay. So moving forward, we go to number 11 it says get the number of reviews having positive sentiments and number of reviews having negative sentiments from the top from the app 10 best foods for you and compare them from this point we are moving to the second table so you can close this so we are moving to dbo clean play store reviews table we are moving to this table so um select app we select sentiments from this table, and then where we have to uh, make sure that we satisfy all the conditions. It says get the number of reviews having positive sentiments and number of reviews having negative sentiments. So where the app, where the app is, where this app, sorry, Get the number of reviews having positive sentiments and number of reviews having negative sentiments for the app 10 best foods for you and compare them. So the app has to be this and the sentiment has to be positive. So when we have the sentiment positive for this app, this is the result we get. So this is the total number of reviews. The total number of reviews um. Yeah, the total number of reviews. Okay, so the total number of positive uh, sentiment is 162. And then if we scroll down, let us scroll down and run the next query to get the amount, the number of negative, negative reviews. The cute, that is 10. So we have only 10 negative for this app. Okay, that's awesome to know. So moving on now to number 12, we're almost done. Um, it says, which comments of ATOS to panels have sentiment polarity and sentiment subjectivity both as one? So what I did here was select app, I selected sentiment polarity, sentiment subjectivity from this table, the second table where, so this is the condition, and I decided to use the whole bracket because we're using and. I mean, um, it's it's just better this way for right. And this is how I learned it. So sentiment polarity is equal to one. I put that in a bracket and to bring those two conditions together, sentiment subjectivity is also equal to one. And let us run the query. And when you do that, you execute, and there you go. Boom. Okay, so moving on to 13, it says get all the neutral sentiment reviews for the app, apps training burn belly fat okay so select app select sentiment because we want to find out the neutral sentiment so we need the sentiment column from this table where the app again because we're bringing the and statement in um i separated the conditions and joined them together using and and um, we have apps equals to this app where the condition is this app and where the sentiment is neutral so let us run this query and see our results. Awesome, awesome, just five rows. So these are the only neutral sentiments, five rows. Okay, so last but not the least, extract all negative sentiment reviews for Adobe Acrobat Reader with the sentiment polarity and sentiment subjectivity. Awesome. It says it wants the negative. The negative sentiment reviews for this app. So let us run this. Um, we brought in the app column, the sentiment, sentiment polarity, sentiment subjectivity. 
and then you execute and there you have it.